Today we're going to provide new material that I found. And I actually found how Allah prays. I found Allah's prayer. Yes, you heard it correctly. I now know how Allah prays. So if you are interested, watch this video. Now we know when Muslims pray, they pray directly to Muhammad while in a state of prayer and supplication, as you see here on the screen. They say, Assalamu alayka ayyuhan nabi wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, meaning, peace and Allah's mercy and blessing be upon you, O Prophet. You see, they pray directly to Muhammad and talk to him. And Muslims who are in denial, they will say, no, 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 we do not pray to Muhammad. Well, it's in front of you. Deal with it. Now, we ask these Muslims, and I don't want to call them zombies, but they are actually zombies because they don't think like we do. They don't cross the red lines as we do. When we ask them, okay, we know that you pray to Allah, you pray to Muhammad, but here is the one million dollar question. To who does Allah yusalli when he prays? Because we know there is a huge difference between salat, prayer, which is an act of worship, and barakah, meaning blessing. So again, to who does Allah pray when he prays? And Muslims don't dare to answer that question. We Christians have to do their homework for them. Let us see how Allah prays. Now if we go to Kanz al-Ummal fi Sunnan al-Aqwali wal-Af'al harf al fa and the number 35,457, we can read that when Muhammad reached the seventh heaven, Jibreel said to him, قَالَ لَهُ جِبْرِيلِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ عَزَّ وَجَلْ يُصَلِّ يُصَلِّ meaning he prays. فَقَالَ النَّبِي صَلَّ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ So the Prophet said, does Allah pray? Qala, meaning Jibreel said, Naam. Jibreel said, yes. So Jibreel confirmed that Allah prays. Again, when Muhammad reached the seventh heaven, Jibreel said to him, Allah is praying? Allah is praying. And the Prophet said, He is praying, meaning Allah is praying. Muhammad is shocked. He asked the question to Jibreel, and Jibreel confirms. Jibreel says, Yes. Jibreel said, yes, Allah does pray, as you see. Was that the only report? No, we have more. Just wait. Is that the only report? Is that your only evidence? No, certainly not. If we go to a Sir al Halabiya, a Sir al Halabiya, fi Sirat al Amin wal Ma'moon, Babu, Dhikri al Isra wal Mi'raj, we can read the following. We can read in the hadith in front of us that the ones who are in the chain are highly trustworthy. Thiqat, the ones who are mentioning this hadith. An, 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 an. From, from, from. Those people. So they are highly trustworthy. And we can read that when Muhammad is in the seventh heaven, he reaches the seventh heaven, we can see that Muhammad is having a conversation with Jibreel, alayhi salam. Jibreel, alayhi salam. And Jibreel says to Muhammad, wait, Ruwaydan, ay qaf qalil. So wait, ya Muhammad, stop for some time. Let Allah finish his prayer. What did you say, Rob Christian? Here, look what it says. فَإِنَّ رَبُّكَ يُصَلِّي Jibreel is saying to Muhammad, stop. Allah is praying, ya Muhammad. Let him finish. Let Allah finish his prayer. And then Muhammad is asking for confirmation. Ya Jibreel. Muhammad is saying, Ya Jibreel, ayusalli rabbuk? Ya Jibreel, does your Lord pray? And Jibreel's, Jibreel is going to answer. Qala naam. Jibreel said, yes. So Jibreel confirms that Allah prays. So stop, Ya Muhammad, let Allah finish his prayer. And then you can continue, as you see. This is really damaging. And Muslims tell us, no, 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 Allah does not pray. But here we can see that <laughs> Jibreel needs to say to Muhammad, wait, let Allah finish his prayer. Allah is praying. So how, how is this? How is this blessing 
Ya Muslimin. And this is highly trustworthy hadith reported by trustworthy people, as you see. This is damaging, Ya Muslimin. Stop lying to us. Allah does pray, and even Jibreel needs to say to Muhammad, Stop. Let Allah finish his prayer, Ya Muhammad. And if we go to Tafsir ibn Kathir for chapter 33, ayah 56, Tafsir ibn Kathir for chapter 33, ayah 56, we can read what Allah's prayer is. Sabaqat rahmati ghadabi. Sabaqat rahmati ghadabi. Meaning, my mercy preceded my anger. So when Allah prays, that's how Allah prays. Allah says to another Allah, my mercy preceded my anger. So Allah is praying in this way. So again, to who does Allah then pray? That's the one million dollar question. We know that you Muslims pray to Muhammad. You pray to Muhammad and you don't ask yourselves why you do that. And if that's not enough, to who does Allah pray when Allah prays, when he is reciting those words? My mercy preceded my anger. That's the one million dollar question. To who does Allah praise when he prays? We know now how Allah prays and we even know his prayer. You see, the Islamic Allah, the Islamic idol, who they call Allah, is praying. But to who does Allah pray? That's the one million dollar question. Ya Muslimin, please wake up. Wake up. This is a disaster. You always told us, no, Allah is uh, blessing. He's blessing us. He's blessing the Nabi. But wait. Allah is praying. And we know his prayer. Wake up, ya Muslimin. Wake up. It's enough. Your lies, your taqiyya, your ignorance uh, towards us. You know, this is 2021. We can read your books, we can do your homework, which you do not know, which you don't do. We have to do it for you. And when we do that, when we dive in your books, we see that Allah himself prays and we know his prayer. Allah recites a prayer like a nice little Muslim. All right? Allah prays in this way. But to who does Allah pray? Please answer our question. We are asking a sincere question. When Allah recites his prayer, to who does Allah recite it? To who does Allah pray? Don't tell us this means uh, barakah. Don't tell us this is a blessing because this is a prayer that Allah recites. Anyway, yeah, it is what it is. I don't think we will get any answer from any Muslim. Right? Because if they are going to open their mouth, they are going to cause even more damage. Because the damage is already done by Muhammad when he created this cult. Muslims, don't even try. Have a nice day, guys. Please download my video and let this video go viral. Christians, I see lately that my views are dropping. Please help those victims out of this man-made cult. This cult that Muslims have to pray to Muhammad and Allah himself has to pray. But to who does Allah pray? We don't know. Allow these Muslims to use their brains. We know they are always walking uh, like this. Right? We heard and we obeyed. That's what they always say. We heard and we obeyed. They don't ask the questions that we ask. They don't dare to cross the red line that we do cross. Muslims, please think. This is your salvation. This is your freedom. You have been brainwashed. Wake up. Wake up from the nightmare that you call Islam. Thanks for watching and God bless.